This is just a short video. This is a Gibson Epiphone acoustic electric. Not that old. I've just scraped the fret and uh, I'm working on it. I've just had to reset the bridge down, re glue it a bit. As you can see, it's a beautifully, uh, what do you call those? Things? I can't remember the name of those, but they're beautiful and the whole guitar is covered in. Oh, it's got to skip, skip my name for now, but, but this guitar is a prime example. The reason why I'm making this, this guitar is a prime example of not having the right strings. The strings on this were 54s, 1454s, and over time they have damaged the, the body. They pulled the neck right in and they pulled the bridge almost off and the whole body has collapsed downwards. Now, I at this stage, because it's such a beautiful guitar and such beautiful ne neck and work around the edges and all, I'm not gonna take the neck off. I put as much uh, straightness on the neck as I can, and I brought the bridge down as low as I can, but I think, I, I know that the owner's gonna be playing up here and not particularly playing down in the other section. So it's going to be a little bit high at this end. But there should be some sort of little thing. They've got stickers in the middle to say, don't put fat strings on an acoustic guitar like this, because it just ruins it. Uh, as you can see, it is a beautiful guitar. It will be playable again, but it, 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 to take that neck off now and rip up the inside and that slice down the side, it's just a sh such a sin when a little bit of warning on a label saying the fatter the strings you use the more damage you'll do to your acoustic guitar uh, nines or ten i'm putting nines on this because it'll give it a beautiful sound but nines or tens are about all you should use on a guitar of course as people say i want that big fat sound but I mean, you can't have that big fat sound but it's at a price all right lecture over beautiful isn't that that's beautiful three-dimensional almost what you don't want to leave inside your battery compartment on this lovely guitar is a corroded, rusty old battery. So I had to take the whole thing apart to get that out. So I'm gonna clean that out now as best I can and put it back together and hopefully it works. It hasn't destroyed it, but it doesn't look like it's leaked acid. I never heard of that make before, Conoco Power Ace. It's got a maple leaf on it. Right, okay, well, it's going in the bin. Right, I think this is the third Gibson Epiphone I've had this week. Completely different one. You know this one, I've already seen this one. I had to flatten the bridge down, glue it down, adjust the truss bar. Now, this is not, again, not what you would call 100% satisfactory if you're a professional guitarist, because it's, it's high there but this is the one that with the strings that are so fat that it's bent the body in and I'm not going to take the neck off that's too beautiful so what I've done is I've lowered the bridge and the saddle as much as I can and I've cut the, the actual uh, strings at the top are so low you can't even get a pick onto them but luckily there's no there's no breeze <laughs> no breeze no buzz <laughs> I had a little bit of an upset because when I went to play it, I found out that the battery had been corroded inside it. But if you notice what, what to do with these things is when you put a battery in, just put a bit of sellotape on each side of it to give yourself a bit of a pull. Because these ones are stupid. When you put them in, it's hard to get them out again without using a screwdriver. So a little bit of sellotape on each side of the battery and then put it in and then you can fold that down and then close the lid up. I'm not gonna put the lid on just yet because I want that battery back again. It's my battery, it's the only one I've got. Anyway, that's it on battery. Everything's working. All the sounds are working there, lovely. Only thing is, it annoyed me because I couldn't find, I couldn't get the battery light to come on, but it only comes on when you press the bloody button. And what use is that to anybody? It just lets you know there's a battery there. Can you see that? I would like it to be on when I know the battery's in and it comes off. But anyway, got past that. But it's a nice guitar. I'm going to take it off the electrics now. Right, off, and this is.
Excuse a little pinky damage, a little pinky damage, right, okay. It's a great guitar, right up to there, then it gets a bit high. But most people, money frets are there. I'm not quite sure it's in tune anymore, but a lovely little guitar. I think they call that burr. I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful little guitar. And it's going home to, uh, it's going home to the same people that had 